good cool chili. Boy, it's a good fall morning, isn't it? That made me think of Ringo. It did? And Ringo is sick. Uh -oh. He has canceled some shows, oh. so I hope her favorite drummer is okay. Wow, wow. Well, we know today that my favorite country singer ever in the whole wide world is okay today because she's in the arms of Jesus. Do you know who went to be with the Lord yesterday? Loretta Lynn. Loretta Lynn, the woman, the icon, the butcher holler, learned the hard way, grew up very young, got married very young, had a whole bunch of youngins very young, and learned to sing as she was doing. Did your mom ever do this? Wash clothes and ring a washing machine? Yep. Did you ever help mama do that? Did I, I think I told you about getting my hand stuck in it. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh. That's on another previous show. That's not yeah. good for a guitar picker, is no, it? No, didn't help much. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, Loretta grew up in Butcher Holler, Kentucky. Do you know where Butcher Holler, Kentucky is? Lord, no. In Eastern Kentucky. Do you know what's famous in Eastern Kentucky? No. Poverty. Poverty. Oh. They grew up so poor, and Doolittle Lynn took her away from there because he didn't want to, he, he said, I don't want my lungs full of that coal dust. And they went to Washington State. Did you know that? I didn't know it. Did you know that? See? Boy, you're just the Loretta Lynn <laughs> specialist today, aren't you? He, he likes Loretta Lynn's music, but you are a trivia master, and you don't know a lot of trivia about Loretta Lynn. That surprised me. It's the truth. How I don't. many children did she have? I don't know. <laughs> See? How many number one hits did she have? Can't tell you. Over a bunch, but she had 51 top tens. Do you know that Loretta is the go-to woman when women get mad at their husband and he comes home with drinking? Do you know who they blame for that? Yep. Loretta Lynn. Yep. Because <laughs> Doolittle might have... Don't come, come home a-drinkin' drink. with lovin' on your mind. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Who did she sing with? Who was her partner? Well, she had a couple. Now, yeah. now I might know a little something. All right. Here we go. Show you Show you. She stuff. had Ernest Tubb. Yes. And she had Conway Twitty. She did. That's she all did. I know. That's all you know. Well, that's more than most. Okay, <laughs> and she anymore. and Conway were nominated and won Duo of the Year multiple, multiple years. So when we get to feeling sorry for the family, because the family, the fans, me, I've, I've declared myself her number one fan. I grew up listening to Loretta Lynn. Everything she did, I listened to it not one time, not two times, but thousands of times. She was my go-to music all the time. And last night I found all my old 45s. I was in my closet for about an hour trying to find my Loretta Lynn jacket. Ask me where it's at. Can't find it? Can't find it. I don't know we what said I can't. Was. Can't. <laughs> can't. Canton, Georgia. <laughs> oh, God. He Why do I say me. Canton then and I say <laughs> I can't, can't otherwise? I don't know. I don't know. But I can't find my jacket, and it worried me to death, but I did wear my Loretta Lynn, one of my many Loretta Lynn t-shirts. I, uh, I have two Loretta Lynn stories I will share. I want you to tell it. When I was little, my big brother Winston got married. He married Sissy, and they came to live with us. And she had a record player, maybe, maybe 20 inches wide or so and lots of Loretta Lynn records. Oh, I love it. And boy, we played Loretta Lynn at the house. Yeah, yeah. And the other Loretta Lynn story that I will tell, <clears throat> I was, you know, I used to be the law. Yeah, yeah, blue, <laughs> back in blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, that's what old folks call it. It's the law. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or I'll, I'll say something mean, that law dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody call the law. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. I was the law for a certain amount of years here in town. Yeah. And one night, I was coming down the, in front of the Dairy Queen over there at 5 and 282, and a big bus rolled off of 282. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So 
the bus went on under the traffic light there and then about that time I turned in right behind the bus and on the back of that bus it said uh -oh. Loretta Lynn. Yay! Yay! So I followed it out Industrial Boulevard and it come over there to Hardy's and turned left. I think she was playing up at Anderson Hall. Mm -hmm. I bet so. And uh, or either over at uh, Lanier Land, I'm mm -hmm. not sure, but mm -hmm. she was playing somewhere. But I followed her bus through and I was back there thinking, huh, there she is. Yep. I'd have stopped her and wonder how to I'd have <laughs> yeah. stopped her. That'd well, be a quick way of losing your job. Yeah, uh oh. <clears throat> right here is a Loretta Lynn platter, and we're going to share a little bit of the footage and we're going to talk over it. So you're going to see the footage, but you're going to, we're going to be talking about her. She was the icon. She was the first to do many things. She was the first to write controversial songs that told the truth. And, and I think you should compare yourself to her because you tell the truth in many of your songs. And some people are like, they hear their name and they're like, oh man, that's cool, I'm in the song. Well, Doolittle heard a lot about his life in the songs. I don't know that he thought it was cool, but Doolittle Lynn is totally responsible for his wife's career. Hmm. Huh because he pushed her and pushed her and pushed her. She didn't want to do it. She wanted to sing to her babies. But he bought her a guitar and he said, you gonna learn how to play that thing? And she did. Now, you were handed a guitar at a young age and well, learned to play it. But you couldn't compare me to Loretta Lynn's boots. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, Just to can't. put it nicely. <laughs> you can't. But, but when you think about it, somebody encouraged you who encouraged you? My mommy. There you go. There yep. you go. Audrey D. Yeah, there you go. Somebody has to encourage each of us to do what we love to do. And what I love to do is to bring you good news most of the time. But when we brought the sad news yesterday about Loretta, it was like my phone was blowing up and you were like the third person to message me and say Loretta Lynn had passed. My phone was, was blowing like, up. All my friends crazy. was texting saying Loretta Lynn died. Yeah, yeah. It just, it still doesn't seem real to I us. I do a song by her. I, I actually recorded one of her songs. And it was? Uh, Before I'm Over You. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. I learned it listening to that record player way back there. There you go. And the, I'll sing that Saturday. Will you do that? Yes, That'll be I great will. as a tribute to yes, her. That would be I'll awesome. So when y'all come out to the Apple Festival on Saturday, he's going to be up front <coughs> and personal, eleven to one, and we will have T-shirts there. We will have CDs there, and I'm going to recommend you buy yourself your favorite Dwight Sanford CD, and then you buy as a gift the Christmas CD for somebody that you love. There's no one here to brag on my Christmas album. I will. Well, you always brag on stuff. <laughs> but uh, I will tell you that it is a good record. We did our little Christmas songs and you'll like it. You don't have to like me, <laughs> but, you like but you'll it. like that CD. <coughs> oh gosh. It's a Christmas CD. I did it last year about this time. And I must tell you, it's a good one. And the one song that really touches hearts, we're going to start playing in the next few weeks. I was going to do it today, but he said it's a little early for Christmas. It probably is a little early for Christmas. Not for some people. <coughs> There's no. even Christmas in July. That's right. That's right. But we want to show you a little bit of the footage from the uh, trips we made to Hurricane Mills. And we did a special, and it has now... A lot of folks are watching this, a lot of folks are remembering, and, and you will see the replica of Loretta Lynn's house when she lived in Butcher Holler. They recreated that. And this is at her daughter Betty Sue's um, store where I loved hanging out with Betty Sue. Betty Sue has gone to be with the Lord now, and, and sadly, sadly but happily, she now joined two of her children who are in heaven, her husband, her partner, her singing partner for many years, Conway Twitty. You know, so many things have happened for Loretta Lynn that were heartbreaking here on earth and she, her heart's no longer broken. She's with Jesus now. So, you know, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like the song you wrote about your mom. When they're in the arms of Jesus, they're in pretty good shape. Yep. And, you know, you'll miss them, but you'll see them again. So, so there, there you go. And Betty Sue died way too young. She was uh, sick. Now there's the home that she was grew up in. Is that where Loretta in. lived? That's where she lived. And so we always talk about old-timey ways, and I put something in front of you today that I wanted to ask you about. Do you know what embroidery means? I do. Okay, did your mama ever have time to embroider? 
she did. Well, one of the things that I loved about Betty Sue's place, and I have a couple of items out here that I bought from Betty Sue, people still took the time to embroider. Now, you think about this. Women used to wash in a wash pot. They used to use a ringer washing machine. They didn't have all these fancy to-dos that we have now. Who's this cat? That's Freddie. Freddie. Yep. Freddie. Freddie that, that did the camera work on all that. Yep. That's oh. cool. Yep. And who he, he is he is really and truly Loretta's number one fan. He always we always go back at each other about it. I'm really the number one. That's his aunt Fran. You're Freddie? And yeah. That's yeah. Freddie. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so we have uh, his aunt Fran was a Georgia State Patrol. And as tiny oh, wow. as she is, and there's Loretta, <clears throat> yeah. But as tiny as she is, Fran was in a chase of her life, and one day we'll talk about that because she was uh, chasing it down and uh, got the tar beat out of her by a big old burly, burly man she was arresting. But, mm. but you know, we look back at life, and this is at Loretta Lynn's farm. This is 6,500 acres where she had all these amazing things for people to do. They do a motocross there every year. They have horseback riding. They have camping. They have full-blown pickups. I'm scared of horses. You're scared of horses. Oh, my goodness. Okay, and there is Sissy on stage. That's her other daughter that I got to interview, and we had so much fun with her. So, y'all, you know, today... I bet Betty has passed away. Betty Sue passed away. Yes, yes, she did. Loretta Lynn's daughter. Yep, yep. She Loretta lost two children before she went to be with the Lord. Well, what, so. what, why so, what killed her? I think she had COPD, if I, if I remember right. She told me that she had some breathing issues. That's why I was on steroids for all those years because of my breathing, and now I just can't breathe anymore because I refuse to do the steroids anymore. But, but look at that beautiful lady. What, what, a, what an honor to pay tribute to her. What a, what a great honor to have spent time at Hurricane Mills many, many times. Hurricane have, Mills. It's a wonderful trip. The old folks would have said, Hurricane. Yeah. Yeah, Hacking yeah. Mills. When you passed by going to Memphis to Elvis's place, you passed right by Loretta's I did. place. Yes, yes, you did. You well, did. I didn't know it. You just didn't know to make a right turn, go three miles and turn left, and you're right there at it. So what was wrong with you? What was you at I was riding a motorcycle. I was trying to not get run over. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Well, today, in honor of the lady, my shirt says it all. She was the coal miner's daughter. She was number one in my world of music. I will forever be indebted to her. I can't tell you. Said Kate. My favorite song she doesn't do on stage, she hadn't done it in years, it's called Saint to a Sinner. My other one is The Home You're Tearing Down. Those two, now they will, they will drag it out of you, but uh, Loretta was the best and she will be missed and she is greatly loved, so. Come over any time and see, is that it? Mm, that's it. Oh. Yeah, that's it. I remember that. You wanna sing it? No. <laughs> Darn it. No, no. <laughs> you got a singer and you got a guitar picker. I ain't able. And he's not singing. I ain't able. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <to> quit. <laughs> you crazy. See, you hear what Trey <laughs> said, didn't you? <laughs> our engineer is yeah, talking right. to us. You going to sing it? I don't know it. I shoot you, you uh, do. I'll sing what I know of it. All right, okay. sing it. Mm, come over in. Any time and see the home you're tearing down. There That's you all go. I know. There you go. Once some little children would have met you at the door, but since their daddy's gone so much. So why don't you sing it? Because <laughs> I can't sing. <laughs> But Have you I noticed know, we do get word. one thing right? We say sing. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Sing. sing. You ever heard people say, why don't you sing? <laughs> you funny. I Listen. sang. I'll sing you a song. Listen, we got to brag on Lord, I crack myself up. We got to brag on something. <laughs> this is so funny, y'all. We know. I know y'all think we're nuts. We have so much fun, and, and we really do get along fabulously, but we are so business-minded. Everything is writing down, straightening out, getting out, and you are the technical whiz, and I'm the get it all written down, get it all going, get it all straightened And I want to ask you something. Okay. If you, You're going to embarrass me on TV No, again? but if a teacher had not taught you how to write in cursive. Uh -huh. You wouldn't have an autograph to go on this shirt. Did you know that? It's the truth. Her name was Ruby Pinson. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Well, do you know what they're trying to do in schools? I have a beautiful signature. My signature is gorgeous, and people always say, oh, your handwriting's so pretty. So you just can brag on it yourself. Well, we both have uh, great signatures. I don't. <laughs> you couldn't do a T-shirt with your like autograph a chicken on it. Scratching. No, it does not, but a teacher is responsible for that. Yes, today, we love teachers. Today in America, they are trying to take cursive writing out of schools. What's wrong with y'all? What is wrong with you? Teach your children to write. Yeah. They said it takes too much time to teach cursive and that they want to concentrate on math. Well, teach them the math too. Teach them all that stuff. Because I have got to, I have a beautiful handwriting, but I copied it from my third grade teacher, Mrs. Jordan. And who taught you to write? Did your mama or did your teacher? Ruby Pinson. There you go. There you go. And you'll In never forget that. In the fourth grade, she was the sweetest little teacher ever. Sweet yep. as she could be. I've said this before. She spotted me from afar, mm -hmm. and she realized I was in trouble. Yeah. And she taught me. She keep me in, in, in the classroom during recess and work with me one-on-one. -on -one. And mm -hmm. that's how come I know how to read and write. Yep, yep. Today. Yep. yep. And, and Sweet it's lady. that one special person in your life, one person can make such a difference. And we see that every single day. She, she, she got through to me. She, she, she knew how to do it. She mm -hmm. reached me. Mm -hmm. She made mm -hmm. contact. And she saw that you were withdrawn. And can y'all started... imagine him withdrawn? <laughs> He's crazy. He's crazy fun. But he was, he was a quiet, shy, withdrawn person. That's I was, weird, isn't yeah. It? yeah. Yes, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, boy. But she saw me and Ms. she Ruby spotted is, me. She, she's my idol now. I think Miss Ruby, there's a Ruby Pinson buried in the city cemetery, and I don't know if it's her. Mm. Could there have been two of them? That's what I'm wondering. I just don't know. Uh, uh, I'll ask Marie Holt. She knows. She'll know. Yeah. She'll know. Okay, we want to brag on another teacher who's a coach. Can we brag on a man that you want to have come and be with us one day? Well, we probably shouldn't be. I don't know how he's going to. But Can I'm we gonna, brag I'm on him I'm going to try anyway? to get him on here. Well, I know this coach, and he's cool. <laughs> and he's very smart and intelligent, and he, he was a football coach and other coach, too, for I don't know how long here in town, 30-something years. And he's my good friend, and we're going to get him on the TV. Yeah. He just don't know it right yeah, yet. Yeah, he don't know it yet. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he'll... Maybe he'll do it. Let's see. He, 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 he might. He if he might. don't do it, it won't be because I didn't try. That's right. I'm going right. to get That's on right. to him. We're going to get him in here. But we Very interesting guy. Very interesting guy. Everybody knows him. Everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it, it would be cool to share his story. I know. Why did he teach yeah. him? Why did he We'll stick put it him out? right here one of these there days real go. soon. Yep. Yep. We hope so. You watching? We hope so. Right here. <laughs> there you go. Okay, yesterday, um, people come up to us and say, we enjoy the show, we watch the show, we like when you do this, we like when you do that. What you really, really like is when he does music. What I really like <laughs> is the idea that I got to get him on a heart of the home. And so we're going to do a commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to go to little blippets of a heart of the home that we filmed, and then <clears throat> we're going to talk about the heart of the home that didn't get finished because of the hurricane. We had a hurricane. <laughs> Boy, did we ever. Well, I thought we were going to have one, seriously. <laughs> yeah, it was not good. So, yep. so we're going to talk about that. But we're going to talk about the things that make it work for us to come to television with you. And it's what you tell us to do. You tell us. Have fun, do music, laugh, talk about the old ways. And, and it's just like this baby blanket. I spent a week finding this baby blanket. I'd put it in a safe place, but I couldn't find it. Have you ever done that? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have no idea. Seriously? <laughs> If I, find, if I need to keep up with something, I have to leave it where I'll trip over it. <laughs> yeah. Then I'll know where it's at. Yeah. If I ever take something and put it up to where I'm going to know where to look for it, it's gone. It's gone. For a long time. Yep, yep. But you did find something the other day in a car seat, didn't you? Uh, yeah. yeah. Stumbled across it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weeks later after he yeah. kept going. Dah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be back shortly. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. 
and delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. We got a technical whiz going on here now. We got something that's finally working. It's taken us about five years to get it to yeah. work. You spent three minutes in there, and we're getting things kind of going. Yeah, I get stuff going. done myself, <laughs> buddy. Yeah, easy accomplisher. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's you right. got a really cool phone call while we were on commercial break. Can you talk about it? I can tell you a Loretta Lynn story. What was that name again? El, El Rancho Grande. El, at El Rancho Grande in Blairsville, Georgia. Way back in the 60s, Loretta 60s. Lynn. 60s. Yes. Yes, yes. Loretta Lynn came to town, and uh, a friend of mine happened to be there that night, and he played steel guitar for Loretta Lynn on her show in Blairsville that night in the 60s. His Hi, name, cool. his name is Victor Davis, and uh, he said just now that. Uh, Loretta was as nice to him as she would have been to John Huey. Y'all don't know John Huey, do you? a good one. <laughs> one of the greatest steel players there was. Yeah. And uh, she said, he said rather that she was just as, she treated him just like she would anybody. And uh, she, he made, her, made him feel real good. Really cool. Yep. The first time I got to see her live was in the 60s and she was a very, um, very accomplished artist, but very insecure. She didn't like the autograph sessions then. She was nervous. She wanted to be whisked away. It was, she was very comfortable on stage, but you can tell that then she was still nervous. She was still pretty new at it, you know, because um, she was just a country girl who came out of the country and truly changed the world of music. And, and I get so tickled when people talk about, you know, the song about where Liz flies, uh, she wrote the song about uh, all the different things that women do and the craziness and the way we spend money and you know we might go here sure. to get our nails done we might go here yeah. to get our hair done we might go fly to Paris France for something 
and she wrote controversial music about things that she'd never done because she had never been. Her roots were grounded in Butcher Holler. Her roots were grounded in Hurricane Mills. Her roots were grounded in country living. And even though she became the big everything, she still loved a simple way of life. Mm -hmm. So it's like when you reach the top, you know, you're going to still love the simple way of life, aren't you? <laughs> They're not looking for any bald-headed old men. Oh, you're funny. <laughs> not going anywhere. Oh, lordy, lordy. But y'all, I'll be is, at the Apple Festival. That's the best I can do. Yeah, he is going to be at the Apple Festival, and he is going to do a Loretta Lynn song. And it, it's so weird <clears throat> when we think about Loretta Lynn music will live forever. I mean, there's not a generation from here to eternity that won't know who Loretta Lynn was because she started, she accomplished, and she grew and grew and grew. And it's like when I was interviewing Sissy, she said, my mom has sung for like four or five presidents. Think about that. Yeah. Who gets invited to go sing at the White House at the Kennedy I can tell Center? you a guy right now that never gets invited to sing for the president. <laughs> Who is that? It's me. <laughs> Oh, no. And it's for good reason. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, boy, that's the truth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks. That's the truth. Thanks. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing to yeah, do Yeah, there's music. a reason why I don't get invited to sing for the president. It might and I appreciate be, your support. It, might, yeah. be, it might be your conservative values. No, there's another reason no. why I don't sing for the no. president. <laughs> no. Well, no, there's no. there's another yet another reason why I don't sing for some presidents. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we all got that. Yeah. All right. Anyway, what did you? How think funny of, was that? What did you think about doing a cooking show? Did you think it was kind of like you thought it'd be or not? I didn't. I tell you, I didn't have much to do with it. Uh, it was. It was. It turned out good. I don't know. I didn't do anything. What were y'all doing you down ate. there? You I ate. ate. Yeah, I ate. He ate and he yeah. ate and he ate and he ate. And uh, he ate. But I was just up there in my little happy spot, yeah, hanging out, yeah. I don't know what You were at the top really. lot making fires work for us because you knew yeah. that we had to have the fire at a certain yeah. point. I, seriously, I didn't even see anybody much. But he did the program, and we're going to show you a little bit of that footage right now because Tim worked late, late last night to get us a little bit of this footage, and um, I think you're going to kind of giggle a little bit because We've done a lot of cooking shows in the, all the many years I've done them, but I don't know that anybody ever enjoyed halibut quite as much as you did. It was good. You loved it. Tasty. You loved it. So, so tasty. So here we go to a little sample of Heart of the Home done actually at the Hale House and then at the Top Lot, and we'll show you a little bit of both of that. Yeah, that's Hale. So is this the meal you ordered? Yeah, I believe it is. Is it? Okay. Yeah. You happy? I'm happy. Does yes, that mean I'm you're going to sing? I'll sing a song. Or two. Or, or three. Five. Or five. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Exciting. Right. Thank you so much for doing this. This is amazing. I didn't so, do anything. You did. You opened your home to us. <laughs> well, it's now. not my home, but oh, it's open. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. This is awesome. Now we're going to sit down. We're going to play you know, your song. You should have had a cooking show on TV. I did. I don't know why you years. didn't have one. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and let's go back to my producer died in December. And honestly, I was ready to just give up doing it. And then Tim came back. And, Tim's and the man. Said Tim, when, the guy holding this camera right now is the man. the man. Okay. When I lost Fred, I thought, I don't know how to do magical cooking without him. And we're doing it again. So isn't it awesome, Tim? Thank you so much. Yay, 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 yay. Yeah, okay, we're going to sit down and we're going to enjoy a bite to eat. And yeah. then you're going to sing for us, right? During eating or after? No, after okay, eating. Okay, you got to eat. Yeah. I yeah. can't sing. Yeah, yeah you got to eat. <laughs> yeah, he's got to have a little nutrition. Yeah, so we're going to do that, guys. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Welcome to Ella J, folks. Yay. This is how we do it in <laughs> Ella J, Georgia. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Many years ago in days of childhood 
I used to play till the evening sun would come Then wandering down an old familiar pathway I could hear my mother call at set of sun Come home, come home, it's supper time The shadows lengthen fast Come home, come home, it's supper time We're going home at last Some of my fondest memories of my childhood were woven around supper time. And mom, I remember how you used to call from the steps of our old home place. You'd always say, come home, son, it's supper time. What I'd give to hear that just one more time. But you know, time has woven a realization of truth that's even more thrilling. And that's when we hear that call from the portals of glory to come home for supper time. When all of God's children gather around the table with the Lord himself, and we celebrate the greatest supper time of all. Supper time. The shadows lengthen fast. Come home, come home. It's supper time. We're going home at last. Whether you're now you're starving to death. Did you see all that food? Yeah. What you gonna do about it? You're uh, starved. He's nice starved to something. death. Yeah, hunt something up. Yep. You know, when when I look back at Heart of the Home, I think about Lori Tipton came to visit with me and she said, Listen, I just want you to do this little thing, da 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 da. And I said, I don't have time, I don't have time. Every single day, I'm so thankful that I finally took the time to do something that I loved. Heart of the Home is truly my greatest love. We have had so much fun, so many travels, so many meals, so many laugh, so much laughter. But then we had the sad time when I lost my director. When Fred Wyndham died, I never thought I'd do Heart of the Home again. And then Tim and I started talking because Tim was editing the old programs and he would say, Fred was really on top of his game. Fred really knew what he was doing. Fred really enjoyed working with you. And so we revitalized Heart of the Home and you're probably the biggest reason we did it. You had this amazing place for us to do it. Now, last week, <clears throat> I got an F, didn't I? Because I chose a day that the wind was a little bit rough. F minus. F minus. Because we had a drone and we had all these things happening and the wind was blowing us away. I didn't know that that hurricane in Florida was going to attack. And it attacked. It was like a killer attack on us. And so our footage is here for us to laugh at and look at, but y'all will probably never get to see it. You might get to see little blippets once he approves it, but we... We can't be having that on television. It was crazy, y'all. It was crazy. It was crazy. But sometimes bloopers do very well, so we'll see how bad the bloopers are. It was pretty bad. But that's what happens with live TV outside. We can't dictate the weather. No, no. That's why it's safe to be inside, because mm -hmm. <laughs> we're inside in a controlled environment. You know, you should shoot one in here. This is the we best facility ever. This we used is to great. do a little cooking segment, but we have no kitchen, we have no sink, we have no nothing, so I had to improvise. And it's hard, but it's uh, not any harder than doing it outside. something back there? There's a little bit T90 sink, there's not even uh, a microwave. Oh. Uh, so, you know. We could, I don't know, we'll, we'll dream up something, but it is fun to do cooking stuff. And so, 
and I've shared so many of our viewers' recipes. The last cookbook I did, y'all sent me 120 recipes that I added to the cookbook. I have an idea. Yes. You could film it in here and have some guy play piano in the background. That'd be beautiful. That'd be beautiful. Yeah. That would be beautiful. <clears throat> I know some guy who could play the piano, and uh, he's had over 800 views since he came. Mr. Larry Russell, the pastor up in, uh, up in McKaysville, he came and sat down at that piano, and boy, the views have been flying in because y'all love it. He yeah. could play, yeah. He was really, really good. So now we did um, Heart of the Home and had a lot of fun with it. And Trace, can you go to a little, another little bitty segment of it? Because we did add his music to Heart of the Home. The whole point the gentleman? in feeding you, no, your music. My music. The whole okay. point in yeah. feeding you was to coerce you into singing. And so you so did I some sang? singing. You did some singing outside. Oh, you did. Dear. We did some recorded music. We did a little bit of all of it because you do it. You have recorded. You have CDs. You have videos. You have all kinds of stuff that you do music. But your favorite way to do music is just with an acoustic guitar, isn't it? Is that Not kind of the really. way you like no, it? How do you my like? My favorite it? way to do music is a fifty-watt Silver Jubilee Marshall amp and a. Les Paul and oh, <laughs> stuff oh. like that, but okay. you know, you know me, I'm a rocker. I'm yeah, a rocker. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I like acoustic stuff. Yeah. Well, you said the other day as you're getting older, you're thinking that it's just kind of cool to just sit with the guitar. I said that. You did, and I kind of laughed. I thought I must have made what? that up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I probably made it up. Was it be on TV? Yeah, you brought it. I in. made it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You brought in two guitars again today, though. And yeah. So I thought he might going to be picking guitar today, but he's not. So, so are we going to do a little bit more of the heart of the home? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to go to a little bit more of the heart of the home now because we just lost our connection. Oh. Had Ella J in mind when I wrote them. You know, Baby Blue. I was writing about Ella J. <laughs> the, it's, it's about the time that the pool room went out of business. Oh, sad days. I know. Sad, the sad best days. hot dogs the best in Hamburg. Let me tell you something. If they had that pool room down there right now with all that foot traffic, oh, yeah. like they had it back in the day, oh, you'd yeah. sell every how many hot dogs you had every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny now, out of the guys that you mentioned in your songs, there are only a few that have gone on. Most of them are still alive, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I think most of them. Uh, yeah. And do they like that you complimented them by using them in the music? Well, I, I've, I've talked to one or two of them about it, and uh, and uh, and they, they were tickled about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. can imagine. I yeah. can imagine. And and I love the idea that you can uh, that that rhythm that gets going in Southern City Lights. You just mm -hmm. you don't want it to end. You know, you can be at a car <laughs> show. Know, you can be. Song. You know, it's just it's a cool one. Another okay. true song is so true. Every word of it is true. It's mm -hmm. exactly how I used to live. Yeah. My days and evenings and weekends were made of that very thing. Yep, yep. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit because we're approaching the Christmas holidays before long. You have a great Christmas CD. And you have an original song on there. Oh, yeah. That talks Merry truly Christmas, about Ella you. Yeah. yeah, talks about you. Yeah. Yep. Is that heartfelt and does it get A to bunch you of sometimes? that song is real. Some of it I made up. You know, every song's like that. Every piece of it, I mean, usually ain't real uh, or authentic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, or, but a lot of it is. And I was working Christmas Eve. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah. Uh, Made up the part about the old man under the bridge, but yeah. all that about all that about the, the kin folks would be coming down, but none of whom were mine. That's all true. Yep, yep. That was sad. The first time I heard it, I started crying, and I thought, "Oh my gosh!" Yeah. And then I heard it again, and I played it on my Facebook page, I think, and people were saying, "Oh my gosh!" I'm sitting here bawling my eyes out. <laughs> yeah. and I said, "I know, well, I know." Rest assured, everyone that hears it and everyone that cries, yeah. rest assured, I sure cried when I was writing it. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a great song. <laughs> yeah. Now, have you? Are you producing anything else for Christmas? You're gonna re, gonna redo that one, or are you gonna just put it back out? No, I still have plenty of copies of that. That's, that's done and over with. I don't know what I'd change on it's that a great Christmas, Christmas album. Gift. It's good. Yeah, it's a great Christmas gift. Yeah. Now let's talk about your next project will be the fan favorites. And you have your favorites. 
But then mm. the fans have their favorite. Yeah. And one of them is about a black limousine. Yeah. If I'm known for anything in this That's world. That's it. <laughs> and I'm probably known for several things that we should not mention. And I'm sorry about that, folks. But if there's anything good that I'm known uh, known for, it'd have to be long black limousine. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Let's go back to the Rebel Inn days. You were a kid. You were working as a school bus driver. You were working. You were doing music at the Rebel Inn. You then became, uh, you worked over at the carpet place. You, you just kept on, you would have yeah. two or three jobs all the time. I always did, yeah. All the time. When I played at the Rebel Inn, I was driving the school bus. And let me tell you this. Let me remind everybody, okay? Well, I drove a bus for 41 years, and I missed very few days in that time. I missed a few days when Mom died, and I missed a few days when Daddy died. And other than that, there was no days missed, missed to even count. I mean, yeah. none, hardly. Crazy. I drove 41 real years, and when I was playing at the Rebel Inn, played there for a long time, too. I was driving the bus, and I was working at Ella J. Garment. Okay? Wow. Wow. I was the cleanup guy. I had to clean up the factory every night. Wow. Every evening, I clean it up. And uh, so, that's why so they so could come picky. in to work the next morning. Yeah, <laughs> When they come in the next morning, everything had to be spotless. <laughs> and I can remember on Fridays, I would not clean it because I was play, playing, and I'd go over there on Sunday night and clean it. Wow. Or Saturday night, yeah. Gosh, gosh, what memories. What no, no. memories. Working man blues, I tell you. And, you know, we look back at life, and, and you're settled here. You have this amazing scenery. You have you have good friends. And, you know, let's talk about your good friends because um, it's important to you to spend time with them, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. we've got one that's going to be 80 this weekend. Sunday, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boy, he's a good one. And, and Happy that's birthday, what, Bob. That's what life's about. Yeah. That's what life's about. Yeah, he's a good one. Well, I think that um, having your music out here, keeping you, I guess you entertain yourself by doing other people's music. Do you listen to other people and like their music as much as you do your own, or what do you think? Well, there's a... Is there anybody... There's a real satisfaction. The way to do an outdoor show without the wind. Yeah, that now, was good there. Yeah, the sound was pretty good. It recorded quite well. Yeah, it yeah, really did. yeah. We didn't have big fancy foo foo equipment and all this stuff. Yeah. And I think it did pretty good, and it gave people kind of a cool, calm look at kind of how you live. You just live a simple life, and you like being outside. You like building fires. You like hanging out. You like spending time with your dear friends. And um, tell me, the Excuse gentleman me. you introduced me to yesterday, the elderly man. Um, oh. Joe Ratcliffe. Yes, yes. So what a hero. He's a Ford man. I Boy, saw that. Boy, when on I his was hat. little, he had the prettiest 56 <laughs> Ford. I dream of that thing. <laughs> and he kept it clean and sparkly. Yeah, yeah. He, he was very nice. Very Joe nice. Ratt he had nice a lot of pretty him. cars, used to. Yeah. Well, let's go to, because you're not picking today. It drives me crazy when he doesn't bring a guitar that he can actually sit here and pick on. We're going to go to a little bit of the music. Tim um, is our executive editor, and he puts together your stuff. And he has the ability to go to my cloud, and he can capture anything, and he can put it together. And he's done this compilation of what you do. And what you do are crazy antics often, and sometimes you do amazing music, sometimes you do just amazing guitar picking, sometimes singing, sometimes writing, but he captured a little bit of all of that. So can we share a little picture of Mr. Ella J? Run it. And it'll give people a little hint of what they might be seeing on Saturday. How about that? Yeah, it's going to be a good show. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, and we want to welcome you again. It's kind of like, it's kind of like when, you, when I drove a school bus, and I got a spare bus. My bus tore up and I drove a spare. Everybody was wave at me and they was real friendly. <laughs> so down there they're gonna like me because they don't know me. <laughs> oh hush now, you're crazy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go to some music of Mr. L. J.
cabin in Ella J, Georgia. We're right across from Ace Hardware, and you have no idea the work and the, and the pain I went to to get these two uh, corralled in here today. We got with us Victor Davis and his brother Bobby Davis. My name's D. White Sanford, and we're going to tell some biggins and we're going to sing some songs. Vic, uh, you know them wheels you give me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Artilleries? Well, our, our truck, yeah, yeah, yeah. I painted them things. I got them painted up and they look good. Sure do. Well, what about the hub caps? Well, I sold them. The wheels look so good after I painted them, I just sold the hub caps. <laughs> Sing a blues song. <laughs>
place where even the squares can have a ball. We still wave over the glory down at the courthouse. And why the lightning still? Leather boots are still in style for manly footwear. Beats and Roman sandals won't be seen. Football still the roughest thing on campus. And the kids, they're still respected. Where even the square can have a ball. We still away the old glory down at the courthouse. And white lightning is still the biggest thrill of all. And the story. You know what we didn't get? We didn't get no rock and roll, but we're going to. This weekend, we're going to get a little taste of been Mr. Been a long time since I rock and roll. Yeah, since when? I don't know. You did it, uh, Dr. Hook. You and, didn't get it. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> That's a Zeppelin song. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we don't do trivia, because he could make me look about as dumb as... <laughs> Don't say a word. Uh, Don't say a word. We are as opposite as night and day and so much alike it's crazy. We are both control freaks. We are both high-powered, high maintenance. I'm not a control. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There's something i got to clear up. Yes, sir. You told people on TV I ate three potatoes. You did? No, I didn't. Them little bitty ones? Uh -uh. I was sampling them. I was oh, checking was all of them, them to make sure they were done. I ate a little bit of each one of them. I didn't eat oh. three potatoes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See how you do? They were little potatoes. Yeah, well, well I sure didn't eat them. I ate, sure I ate little bites of all three. Oh, okay. To make sure they'd gotten to done. To test them. Yeah, yeah, to test yeah, them. yeah okay, you know, okay. test it. Yeah, uh -huh. just in case test your doctor's it. watching and wondering yeah. why your A1C yeah, sugar's gone crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Y'all, if life wasn't fun, life wouldn't be worth living. We are so blessed to have um, the crazy times we have together. We are so blessed to get to come into your homes. I love being able to share your stories. And uh, yesterday when we were talking about the veterans, I left here and I had a greater respect for America than I've ever had because we would not be what we are. I just told him, I said, you wear your red, white, and blue shirt on, on Saturday and you honor these veterans. You fly your flag every single day and you honor these veterans. You, you honor America. We are so lucky to live in this amazing place. Do you know this week, people at the Apple Festival from everywhere will be listening to the local music of Mr. Ella J. Yes, they will. There'll be people from everywhere here. And that's mm -hmm. the great thing about America, you know. Welcome to Ella J. That's it. That's with a J. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Now, let's ask for some prayers. And, and Trey says, how do you like them apples? Yeah. <laughs> what about Astrid? You know, everybody hears her oh, beautiful gee. voice in the song. Yeah. We got to ask prayers for her and her family. I uh, know. She had a rough time with a hurricane. It's uh, not good news. They're okay. They're, everybody's okay. Her family is okay. But there's a, they suffered a great loss. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so my, many families. my lady Astrid, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. We're going to. Be talking to her real soon. There are so many More. families who lost lives, over 100, 100 fatalities at this point. So when we had a little bit of wind last week, I kind of gave it a hard time because I was like, I didn't expect this. But God bless those people in Florida. There are people still without power, will be without power for weeks. There are people who are planning funerals. There are people who are wondering how will we build, how will we start over because they lost everything they had. 
one lady in a shelter had six children in a shelter. Oh man. And they were Astrid's thinking her. about moving away. Wow. From Florida. Wow. What if she comes to Ella J? That would be so cool. That would be so cool. Then we'll yeah. have some music. Yeah, that would be so cool. Um, last time a bad hurricane hit Florida, the real estate market in Georgia sadly but happily was booming because people were leaving Florida and deciding not to build back there. So wouldn't be a hard decision for me. I would just have to get out and get up here. And, you know, we, we have a little bit of issues with tornadoes occasionally, but nothing like the hurricane seasons that they have. So are you nice starved to death? You're just about to flake out on getting me? Getting kind of hungry. <laughs> yeah, getting kind of hungry. Well, thanks for tuning in with us today. Thanks for spending a little time with us. And thank you for for loving my favorite singer ever, Loretta Lynn. Thank you for being, you know, her greatest fans. That's one thing about our viewers. They all, everybody knew that I love Loretta. I used to want to tease my hair up big like she did, and I'd try it. My hair was so heavy, it wouldn't stay up big. I don't know what the magic was she did, but but she was the queen of country music, and she will be missed forever, and uh, she was loved greatly, and, and I, I know that her children are, are hurting. That's that's part of it. And um, we expected her to leave here someday, but not quite this soon. So, And you know what's so cool? She died peacefully in her sleep. That's kind yeah, of the way you want to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know. If you could choose a way, that's the way you want to yeah. go. So, well, I'll tell you how we're going to go today. We're going to leave. Are we about to go? With a song from you. A song from me. A song from you. And a message, too? A song. And a message, too? A message, too? Okay, here's my message. All right. Talking to you, thank you for the roses you place in my life. How sweet, how sweet, how sweet. All right, here we go. One more, Mr. J. And don't forget, 11 a.m., Apple Festival, front stage. He will be there 11 to 1. We hope to see you there. Yes. I'll say happy birthday, darling. I'll surprise you with a gift when I come home. Then by okay, <laughs> cracking me up a lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tomorrow. To sorry. Okay. Tomorrow, I'll say happy birthday, darling. Surprise you with a gift when I come home. And my forgetful arm reach out for you. I can't forget you just because you're gone. I can't. Believe that you stop loving me. It's too much for me to understand. How can anything so real become a dream? of it. I've sifted.